today I went shopping, so I thought I'd do a haul, I guess. And basically I went out to go and get stuff for uni, but saying that, I did go shopping and I bought things that I shouldn't have bought. Um, but yeah, so I did do a bit of shopping for myself and I did go shopping for uni. But the thing is, I did get what I wanted, um, so it's fine. Uh, I see it as a successful day. But yeah, so I thought I'd just share with you guys what I bought. Um, so basically I went out to Manchester today to go and buy some fabrics for my for one of my projects. And um, I also bought a folder for another one, another project. So I went off to Abacan Fabric Store and I bought myself this massive bag. Oh, fabrics, as you can see. It's really strange because they don't actually give you a bag, they just give you this sort of like carrier bag, like this bin bag sort of style. So I felt a bit weird walking around town because I just went around town with the bin bag in my hand. Yes. So uh, I'm just going to go through my fabrics because I quite like them and I'm quite excited with what I'm going to do with it. I mean I'll show you guys once I've done something with it but it's a bit boring if I just say I'm going to do this because you might not understand what I'm going to do. So hey ho whatever. So I've got two fabrics, this burgundy colour which is quite in at the moment, uh, light is a bit rubbish but um, I've got this, so I'm going to make skirts out of these and um, there's a low end and a high end skirt, so there's another one, it's the same, well the same colour but it's a different fabric and then I bought myself some wool, it's a, a wool mix it's just like this, it's got it's quite nice, you can see. It's like a puppy tooth sort of print. Uh well a weave. And I'm gonna make a jacket out of this. And I bought myself some linen, some navy linen. I'm gonna make a top out of this. And then I bought myself a gradient colour, well blues, as you can see, it goes from like a dark to a light to a lighter one, to a white in blues and this is going to be a section of the top so that's all my fabrics that I bought from Abacan and I spent about just under £40 on fabric um, which I think is alright I think considering the amount I got you know, all this so that's not too bad and then, as you can see on my bed I will show you guys like all the stuff on the bed is just absolutely everywhere. I got back not long ago so I've not had time to put anything away. So after that I went and bought myself um, an A3 folder, nothing exciting and then it's not A4, it's not A3, it's just a square ring binder folder for another project. So I got those from Ryman's and I got 10% discount so happy days. Ooh, I also got 10% discount on my fabrics, so I was happy on that one. There was a guy actually in front of me, and he spent like £99 on fabric, and I was like, oh my god. And he didn't ask for student discount either, and I, because I, I was after him, I asked for it, and I was thinking, maybe he should have asked for student discount, because I think he would have needed it, because, oh my lord. So anyway, after that shopping after that shopping, after buying all those, um, we put them back in the car because it was rather heavy and I went into Boots and I only wanted to go and get some wax strips from Boots which I got. I came out with eyelashes, um, I got these Natural Light Intense Lashes by Isla, which are those. I'm sort of... Uh, my other lashes, I've, I've either lost them, used them and they're like all mangled and horrible or I just don't know where they've gone. And then I bought these uh, Natural Light Upper and Lower Lash Duo which I've never used lower lashes before but um, they're quite cool for going out and they're by Isla as well. So I thought I'd try these because I've never done these before and they're new so we'll see how they go. Yeah, and then I bought some um, Barry M's Instant Nail Effect, and this is three one nine foil, 
but then it's got 318 at the bottom as well so this is just this silver colour if you can see it I'm trying to see oh there you go it's like a silver colour mm, can't really see there you go it's better by Barry M so just got this and then I got myself some lipstick and this is 04 and this is by the Kate Moss range for Rimmel and um, there's no name to it that I can see uh, it's just by Kate Moss oh hang on it's called Rosetto and it's a lovely colour but the reason I bought it I bought it for Halloween because of um, the makeup I'm going for and I have got a colour like this but it's in a palette and I can't really carry my palette when I'm out so I bought this, I don't know whether you can see it literally it is a purple, I'll just swatch it on my hand for you it's like this, it, is, it, is, it looks dark but it's actually a purple colour but um, yeah because my lighting's a bit rubbish in here today but that's just that and it is absolutely beautiful, I love it, I love it I'm really excited about Halloween, it's not long now after that, I went into, oh actually no, after that, I I was thinking about this all day, about getting my nails done, and I was like, no, I shouldn't really get my nails done since I don't have the money, but I was like, no, I've not had my nails done for a long time, so I'm going to go and get my nails done. So all I've done is just got them natural, just natural nails, nothing exciting, natural gel nails. And the guy there was so weird. He was like Vietnamese. I don't know how old he was, but he was all like, oh, hi, where are you from? Da, 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 da. And I was talking to him. He goes, oh, so have you got a boyfriend? Then I was like, no, but I'm sort of seeing someone. Da, da, da. He goes, so what's it? who is he then? What's he then? And I was like, oh, he's Vietnamese. All right. Da, da, da. And then he was like, oh, well, where's he from? I was like, London. He goes, oh, so he's not here for you live with him? I was like, no. And then he went on about... Um, Oh well, you can have me as your boyfriend in Manchester if you want. You can it's, it can be like buy one have one spare, and then it was just going on and on, and I was just sitting there like, no, just leave me alone. And then the woman's doing and I was laughing. It was sort of funny at first, but it got too much because he went further and further and further into the conversation, and I was just like, I just want to go now. But whatever. After that, I went into New Look. And I bought these boots. They're just little ankle boots with lace. But um, it's good because it's got a zip on the side. So they're like sort of brogue style. But they're in boots. Uh, but the thing is, these were in the Generation 915 section for kids in New Look. And I was like, oh my god, they have my size. Because I know that the Generation 915 is cheaper than the adults range. So I got these for £20, including, no, with discount. So I was like, yay, saves me some money. But I shouldn't have really bought them. But, you know, it's winter, you know, a bit of boots, whatever. Hey -ho. And then I went into Lush and bought myself a bath bomb. And this is absolutely gorgeous. It smells lush. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, is, this bath bomb is called Sex Bomb. And, oh, hang on. It says, drop into a pre-run bath for a sensual, pink, fizzy, jasmine-scented experience. It's got me in it. As you can see, it looks like a little spaceship. Like a flower, and it's got a flower in the middle. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I wish you could smell it. It smells amazing. Not just because it smells like jasmine. Haha. <laughs> but it actually does smell really nice and I love bath bombs like when you bang them in and it just fizz it's so cool but the only thing is they don't like have bubbles either so like after you've had put it in and does it fizz it's just like oh it smells nice now but there's no bubbles but whatever so I'm going to take this to London with me it smells so nice and then after that, I was just on the phone to my friend and he wanted to get a skeleton costume for Halloween and he went round all the top shops down south, well the ones near him, obviously he didn't look far enough and um, 
he asked me to buy it and I was like okay skeleton, skeleton costume in top man right a bit strange but I'll go and look for it so I was looking and I was looking and I came to it and they were pajamas I was like hang on a minute these are actually pajamas called up and I was like hello are you sure you want this they're like pajamas he's like yeah I can wear them uh. I was like okay then so basically it's a onesie an all-in-one but it's got a skeleton on it so um oh lord um I was like you will get hot wearing this you know it's it's for bed you know to keep you warm and stuff but he was like no it's fine just won't wear anything underneath blah 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 so I'll show it you now it's quite funny. I couldn't stop laughing when I saw it. I was just like, are you serious? So literally, it's a onesie with a skeleton bit on it. As you can see. <laughs> so that's what he's wearing for Halloween and I was asked to purchase it. So that was everything really um, that I bought today. I went Primark actually and I bought some tights. Oh. I bought these tights and they've just got a bow on it. They're like the um, Henry Holland ones but they're a lot cheaper and they do last quite a while because I've been told that the Henry Holland ones, is that what they're called Henry Holland? They like rip, they can rip quite easily. So I bought those because I've got this denim dress that I wear but it's so short and I don't I wore shorts with it but you can't even see the shorts so I decided if I wear tights at least I'm still covering up my bum but I've got it's still like it's got detail on my leg or whatever hey -ho. so that's everything I bought today I spent more than I should have I think I don't even want to check my bank account right now but hey ho it's fine um so yeah and that's my shopping spree if there's any questions or you want to know where I got things from hopefully I've listed it all well for you and told you but if there is anything just let me know and I'll get back to you I hope you guys have watched this oh, I can't even speak right now if you I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>